tight. We've been around the crappy shops. We've got a load of crap. <laughs> in you go. Oh, it does smell lovely. I'm stuck on the door handle. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to this new weekly. My name's Nicola. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. This is Mark, by the way, my husband. If you're new, we are off on our holly bobs. Not really. Well, for one night. For one night only. One night only. We're going to um, Great Yarmouth, which is is it in Norfolk? Yeah. And it's about two hours, is it? Hour and forty. So not too. <coughs> God, I don't know what's happening in my throat. Not too bad. Um, Travelling wise, we've we're loaded up. We've got the the bag packed and ready. We are staying in the Premier Inn that is on the seafront. But it looks really nice. It's quite new, isn't it? Yeah, it's few years old now. Yeah, but it's yeah, newer ones, than yeah. yeah, one of the newer ones. So we're staying there for one night, as we said. We're going to go and look in all the rubbish shops. We're going to probably watch some bowling. We're going to do crazy golf. All the good stuff that's along the seafront. And of course, there's going to be lots of food involved as well. <laughs> On the market, they have the best chips and they do like different sauces with them. Mark has curry sauce on his and I have gravy on mine and it's just to die for. So that's gonna be our lunch. And then we'll just sample things as we go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Sun's shining for us, which I didn't think it was gonna do because it's supposed to be raining, wasn't it? But uh, <laughs> a few days ago, the weather said it was gonna rain. Yeah. But um, no, it's nice and sunny at the moment. So yeah, let's go and have a nice time. We have arrived. We did hit a little bit of traffic. There, there was an accident. I hope everyone's all right in that. It's the sun is shining, and Adventure Golf is over there. So Mark's just uh, Mark's gone to see if we need to pay with disabled with a blue badge. So he's just gone to check that out, and then we will get the little Super Grover out and go. I really need a wee first. It's our favourite tea rooms, Merivale. Not that we're going there yet, but we will go there later. But we're just going to borrow their toilets first. <laughs> Merivale Tea Room. If you know, you know. Weird seagulls. Oh, Mark can smell the waffles. <laughs> Are you going to get a waffle later? Don't know. Or donuts. Oh, there's the model village, look. We might go in there, we'll see, see how we are on time later. You could see from the road, wasn't it? Yeah, we saw this big wheel from the road. That's the hotel we were in last time, over there. Because we we stayed in the corner of the outdoor bar bit, didn't we? Yeah, that truck fest thing, didn't they? Yeah, I wonder if they'll have that again today. Because it's the same weekend. Who knows? No idea, mate. Yeah, Arcades, yeah. We could come out and watch it. Six donuts, three pounds. <laughs> Bargain. Or donut derby. Donut derby. That's oh, derby. that's Mark's favourite, isn't it? You love a donut derby. You can't see them very often, do you? No. We go on the big wheel. Oh, yeah. it's the little train. Little train. Choo -choo. Diddly dee, diddly da. As my mum says. Right, we need to find some other toilets because the toilets at the um, 
Merivale have got a code now, so you can't use them unless you're eating there, which we can understand. So we're going to find the other public toilets. I think we have done that one before, that yeah, crazy done goal. Both. Yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. But I think that one looks a bit better. This one? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. We're just deciding which crazy goal to do later. It's bigger, it's bigger, isn't it? You've got two halves. Yeah. yeah that's the one we've done. Yeah, we think that's quite good. Maybe we do that one. So this is where the market was with our chips but it's having the surface done I think like we had that in town recently it must be a thing so we're going to find the where it is now it's in here apparently so it's just moved at the back here isn't it I don't know whether that's permanent or temporary all right hang on I'll do a circuit follow mark Oh, there we go, chips. Chips. Look at them. Mark's got sausage on top of this. <laughs> They're huge. Look how big that is. Is that a regular? Oh my god. <laughs> Managed to do it? Oh, brilliant. Fiver? Even better. Got a new screen on my phone because my other one was cracked. Right, we've been around the crappy shops. I've got a load of crap. <laughs> well, I got loads of um, table presents, didn't I? For Christmas and some stocking presents for Pops. I'll show you when we're in the hotel later. Um, but you can always guarantee on them shops to get some bits and pieces. So we're just watching bowling now with a cup of tea. Right, we've kind of moved up a bit because this is where the main game of bowling is. And it's got these little shelter things that we're sitting under but look that's the beach I've never really noticed the beach at Yarmouth before but it's very sandy isn't it it's got a bit of grass on it but mainly sand and there's the pier we're gonna go and have a look at that in a bit never met someone like you uh, felt something like your touch I wish we would have met tonight sure I've had lovers in my past My dad always used to like the one, you know, where it opened the toilet door and all that sort of thing. That's the one he used to like. Oh look, basketball for Pops. Oh, it's a Pac-Man one. Pac-Man basketball. Oh my god, giant see Steven. <laughs> oh, these are nice, Mark. Little uh, booths. Long John. Oh, I've got live music.
our favourite little tea room, aren't we? We are. Mary ba is it Mary Vale? Actually, it's not called that now, it's Christopher's, isn't it? But it's attached to the Mary Vale model village. Mark's got his shortbread and I've got an apple Danish, but we think it might be a bit dry. But we'll see. My drink of choice is, oh, it's just elderflower, yes. <laughs> and you've got Dr Pepper. Nice. I didn't do too bad, but I only left a little bit. I'm so full now though. <laughs> Just saying to Mark our diet is really great today. Chips and cake. <laughs> Isn't it? Mark's per perusing the menu. I said our diet's really good today. <laughs> We're in the lift. We're just going to find our room. We checked in. Did you have to pay for the car park? No. Oh. Ah. Okay, that's all right then. Let's go and see we're on the top floor, so good job they've got a lift. In you go. It smells right. Oh, it does smell lovely. I'm stuck on the door handle. Shut that. I think you've got to put your key Ooh, in Charles, for... Will you? No, hurry up. <laughs> there was light. Do you want to do a room tour? Uh, really? You can tour tour us around the the, the room. The bathroom, bedroom. Well, that's not a room tour, right? We're coming here. We've got ironing board. Won't be doing any of that. The smallest hair drying place ever, but that's quite nice that you've got a separate area. I can do my makeup on there. If there's oh, and there's a light. Oh, that's really handy, Mark. Light up mirror. Oh, cool do your makeup on I like that and a little stool to sit on and you can see that there's no dead bodies in the wardrobe so we're all good let's come in here in the bathroom oh no it's a step over bath <laughs> for a shower but it's like a rainfall shower but that could be interesting I have to be careful not to fall over and now everyone gets this wrong in their bathroom look arounds on vlogs. This is called a basin, not a sink. Is that right, Mark? That's right. <laughs> Mark gets very cross when people call it a sink and not a basin in the bathroom. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Bayless and Harding natural hand wash, but that's not a freebie. I don't think we've got any freebies in the bathroom. It's very funky light. Look at that, it looks like a sunshine. And then we've got a stool which we've put all our toot on. I'll show you what I bought in the shop in a minute. And then this is the bed area. with You've got little lights. Oh, you have got, because I bought plugs, but there's USB points, Mark. Yeah. That's quite handy, isn't it? Yeah. By each side. And a desk, tea and coffee glasses that's always nice because you don't always get a glass do you not that we need it but you know mugs tea coffee things and then in the fridge we've got some water and milks for the tea and then this is the view out of our window we have the beach the beach and they're doing donut rides down here with a speedboat but we've just been watching. Did you do them once, Mark, mm -hmm. when you were abroad? Yeah. You liked all the water sports, didn't you? I'd hate that. But yeah, it's not a bad room. Got a nice chair here with a footstool. I think I'll plonk myself there. And we're gonna have a rest for a bit, aren't we? Oh, we've got big telly in front of the bed as well. We're for Love Island later. Right, I'm just going to show you a couple of bits because the rest are table presents for Christmas which I can't show you because people will be watching. Um, but this is for Holly. It's like a jelly cat and it's a, it was the cutest one. It's like a sandwich. So this is a present for her now from our holiday. And this is <laughs> for Poppy of course. It's Stephen in a key ring. Had to be done. He's got his chip in his beak. And then the uh, fridge magnets I got for myself is this one because it reminds me of the massive portion of chips we had earlier I didn't eat all them by the way I ate half of them I think and then this one for the coronation of King Charles III because I haven't got one of those 
in a fridge magnet so that's the bits I got earlier right we've come to play crazy golf you'll be surprised to hear we never play crazy golf do we Mark <laughs> we're doing a pirate crazy golf and I've just booked tickets to go to this hippodrome show so that should be good that starts at seven don't go in the water because there's a penalty Oh no, it's going to come down, Mark. It's coming back at you, it's coming back at you. <laughs> no one likes to see that. <laughs> Whack it one. <laughs> there it goes. It's probably off course now. <laughs> it's pretty setting though. It reminds me a bit of the one we did in America when we went on our honeymoon. Yeah. All of the water and everything. I actually do need a wee. <laughs> it's making me want to wee even more now. We're just waiting for the group in front to leave and then Mark can hit his ball. <laughs> Painful. Green. This is so pretty. Blue water. The pirate. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they're not. Because we are. <laughs> right, come on then. Is it in? <laughs> no! Don't be so silly! Some pirates fighting. <laughs> Boat sprung a leak. We're going over to this bit now. We've got our show at seven. First, seven? Seven. seven. So, we've got to go straight there after this. Right, we're in the show. Well, we're not in the show. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, Mark, you're star of the show, right? <laughs> we're in the Hippodrome. I'll show you the stage. Look at the lights. They look so pretty, don't they? And that's the stage down there. We're at, like, the last row, but we've got quite a good seat, really, haven't we? Yeah. We like it. We've got no one sat behind us either, so... It's all good. We should look forward to it. We've got 20 minutes to wait. The show was so good. It was so good. Right, it's on till the 15th of September at Yarmouth. It's on the seafront in the Hippodrome. If anyone wants to go and see it, I would recommend it. The trampolinists were, well, out of this world. I don't know how they did it, I really don't. But I just thought, we're going back now. I'm in my, in my Super Grover and we're gonna go and play some games and have a drink at the bar before we head back to our room. But it's been a really lovely day. Just absolutely worn out. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday fun day. Had to think then. 
We're still in the hotel room. Oh, I've got to change my battery. Mark's just trying to pack everything up. <laughs> and we're going to head down to breakfast um, and then check out. And we're going to, the plan is today, we're going to go and visit Hemsby, where Mark had all his holidays growing up. I think he's going to see a big difference in the place. We took the girls there as well when they were very tiny. And then we're going to go on to Roxham. And I've booked a nice pub that we know there for dinner, for like lunchtime. And have a little walk around there, feed the ducks and the swans. And then come home. So come with us on our second day of our holly bobs. I've gone with a pancake to start with, but we've ordered breakfast, haven't we? Mark's having a pan chocolat. We're sat by the window, which is quite nice. A bit of a palaver over breakfast, but I'll tell you about that when we're back in the room. There's my breakfast. Mark's mushrooms look a bit <laughs> dried out, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> but it's stuck getting in. No, it's not doing it as much now, but this morning the sun was shining on the water and it just looked like crystals it was just amazing but yeah that was so pretty I should have got it then but you can just imagine it <laughs> oh have a sit down for a minute so while well, we're getting ready to leave breakfast was nice but it took forever <laughs> they were so busy like why they did the continental breakfast buffet style but not the cooked you had to order that and there was just such a backlog and there was like literally three waiters and waitresses trying to deliver food and clear tables and book people in it was chaos and the trouble we had when we first got there is they said oh you've paid for a breakfast but you haven't booked so we can't fit you until quarter past ten and we said but we weren't told that we had to book and she said oh we have this all the time because the restaurant attached to the Premier Inn is a beef eater so you have to book when what time you want breakfast we didn't know that we weren't even told or asked so when I have a feedback form come through on my emails that's one of the things I'm going to put on there another thing I'm going to put is that they could do with tissues in the room because I think that's a nice touch for a hotel room and I use a lot of tissues for like my rhinitis and stuff and I I had to just use my own really but it would have been nice to have some and as well when you're doing your makeup and that sort of thing so tissues in the room would be nice hand soap's broken <laughs> so you have to use shower gel to wash your hands um, and the tea bag was really weird this morning I used a PG tips one and it smelt like mint it was like a mint tea but it said PG tips so I just couldn't drink it because I don't like mint tea yeah but apart from that <laughs> it's all good the bed was like a a rock it was really hard but I still slept quite well because I was just so tired from the day we just didn't stop we did so much and today's going to be another busy one but we will get home at some point and be able to rest. That's why I haven't actually booked much in next week because I knew I was going to be tired from the weekend. So I'm glad that I've got more to show you the weekend because during the week is not going to be as busy. <laughs> it's just going to be mainly me resting. Right, I think we're ready to rock and roll and leave this room. Are you ready? Yep, let's go. We're ready. Going on some proper country roads here, aren't we? Yeah. Heading into Roxham. We nearly had a bloke pull out in front of us. And, well, he did pull out in front of us, but Mark managed to stop in time. But it's really pretty along here. Some really pretty cottages and houses. And some little villages we passed through. Mark's just gone to look to see if we have to pay in the car park for disabled as well. Oh, it was so cute. Like, we went to um, Hemsby and we s I've got something on the back of my neck. Hang on. What is it? What is that? God knows. Um, <laughs> we went to Hemsby and he saw where the actual chalet that he used to stay in as a little boy. And he was like, and there's the club where we used to get a bottle of Coke and, and a packet of crisps and 
Oh, it was so sweet. It was really nice seeing him reminisce because I think that's really important to remember, you know, what you used to do and you used to, the things you used to get up to and it's all memories. And we were just saying actually in the car about the fact that you don't appreciate as parents the children when they're young because all you keep going on about is, well, us anyway, we all we kept going on about is like how tired you are or how they're having tantrums, how this is happening now, this is... But really, you don't fully appreciate them because what I'd give to go back for just one day with them both being little, like either as babies or as toddlers, I'd give anything just to have another day where I can smell them and kiss their little heads. Anyway, <laughs> they've got big heads now <laughs> to kiss. <laughs> Let's go and have some fun in Roxham. We're looking for air fries. What's this one? Mm -hmm. I bet that would be expensive. £249 that one. £249. Is there more down here? Top, oh yeah, all up here. See, that's the sort of size we want, yeah. but we want double drawer. Do you need double drawer there? Yeah, mum, mum, and say, I think it's your mum that said get a double drawer. That was quite cool. So you wouldn't fit much food in there, would you? Not for us. I suppose so. 169 that one. That's nice, isn't it? That's a, there's a ninja one up there, but that one's quite good. Air fryers. 89.99. This one. See that? Look how dirty that is already. Yeah. Whereas that wouldn't get as dirty, would it? How do you operate? Oh, it all comes up on the screen, yeah. yeah thing. So for those people that like Rendale, look at this. That's incredible. Oh, you bunnies, bunny ball, little hedgy hog. So pretty, even the mugs, like look at that one. Oh, that's nice. Nice picture. It's only seven ninety nine, that's a good price. Really good price. Like these hearts. Two ninety nine. Really like those. Wanna look in the sweetie shop? Nah. Fudge factory. made it made it through we're just sitting here with a nice cold diet coke watching the world go by but guess what we left the duck food in the car so we're gonna have to go back for and that later cold, yeah we'll go back after lunch for that it's so lovely here Watching. Yeah, on the on the actual water. I know. Nice in the nice weather, but like you say, not great in the nasty weather. There's so many swans, though. Look at them all. Oh, another boat coming in. 
we've had a nice lunch, but we had someone sitting right next to us, so I couldn't really film. But it took ages. Like, the food took over an hour, about an hour and a half until it came. But that was fine, because we weren't hungry, so we were hungry by the time it came. And now we're just uh, gonna feed the ducks and the swans. We're just gonna pop into here, Roy's garden centre for a little look round, and then head back. So, there we go. It's been a nice day again. Loads more to do. Oh, look at the little snails. The tortoises. Oh, I love them. Bird feeders. I do need a new bird feeder, Mark. This has gone a bit thingy. It's one of them. 599. It's not too bad. Quite good prices in here. Hello. Mm. Look at all the. Look at that tortoise. That looks like art. Artemis. Garden furniture. These are pretty. Gardenia. Right, we're going to feed the ducks and the swans. Look at the swans. There's millions of them. Oh my god, are we going to be bombarded? Are we literally going to be bombarded? Yeah, Mark, give us a handful and I'll feed them over there. Ready? Here it comes. All right, I'll give you some. I've never seen so many swans. Here we are. <laughs> There's so many swans. Oh my God. some down there <laughs> feeding frenzy ready Whoop. <laughs> is it nice <laughs> one more lot Otherwise they'll take all that. Oh, getting thingy with them. Put some down here for these ones because they're not. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right, greedy. Okay, we have finished our weekend away. So we're now heading home. It says one hour 47 minutes. That's without any traffic. But it has been really nice, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. We've really, really had a lovely time. We just sat for a bit after feeding all them hundreds of swans. Um, we could have sat there longer, to be honest, but we've got to get back and get on. There you go, thank you. <laughs> just trying to get out of this really the next tricky one junction. Mile, keep straight on this road. Thanks, whatever your name is. Sat nav person. <laughs> No, it has been really lovely. Now back to reality with a bang. Hello, happy Manic Monday. Look at the state of me. Look at the absolute state. I haven't done my hair or makeup yet, but it is gonna be 20, 
25, 26 degrees today. So I've just got this vest top on with some denim shorts because I need to stay cool. We all know, as I have discovered in the comments section as well, that all of us fibro sufferers that have fibro find that the weather affects our fibro massively. So it's supposed to be, like I say, 25, 26 degrees today and tomorrow is going to be 28 to 30 degrees. <laughs> yes. So I've not planned much over the next two days because one of the weather and two I am trying to recover from the weekend like we had the best time as you probably saw through the vlog I can't wait to edit it we had a wonderful time but as you know with fibromyalgia anything you do you pay for and by Saturday evening I was literally <laughs> crawling on my hands and knees we went for something to eat after we saw the show and um, it was just too much. Right, I've just realised I'm a bit dark because the light's not on. So, um, our Holly's just come home, that's why I had to stop recording. We were just catching up. She's just going to have a bath and then we're going to go to m and to get something for lunch. So, yes. What was I saying before? It's absolutely exhausted. And when I woke up this morning, I thought, oh my God. I mean, I used my Super Grover mobility scooter to save spoons. So I'm less exhausted than I would have been if I'd have tried to walk. Oh, well, I couldn't have walked that. I couldn't, just couldn't have done it. <laughs> um, and it, like I say, you can always tell by my bags under my eyes. Also, I wanted to update you on the not drinking because I realise I've not spoken to you about this for ages since I told you about it really. So I've done really well. I've done 28 days with no alcohol which is the longest I think I've gone for a long long time. I've done my first holiday with no alcohol because this weekend and I am talking to a lovely lady that was actually a subscriber, well she is a subscriber on my YouTube and she reached out to me to try and help me so we've been chatting and I had to make notes this weekend that I went away like any time that I felt I thought about having a drink or would like a drink and grading it between 0 to 5 of not being not bothered at all and 5 being I really need a drink and I only got to like two, I think, two or three on a couple of occasions and that was it. I really wasn't that bothered. It didn't really bother me at all, which I was really surprised about. And it's trying to find not drinks to replace the alcohol, but alternative drinks that I can enjoy now, like new drinks. And when we went to the bar in the evening after we saw the show I had a 0% gin with lime and soda water and that was really nice it's really refreshing really enjoyed that so even to the point where I was just saying to Holly that I thought I think that I think they've made a mistake I think this is alcoholic and I almost started to feel a bit funny as well with it and I thought oh my God, they've made a mistake. And I looked at the bill and it was 0%. So it was just my brain thinking you've just drunk alcohol and I hadn't. Um, so it's, it's a very clever and funny thing, the brain, isn't it? But yeah, I've been doing really, really well. There, it has been hard at times, like Mark's birthday. Um, that I went to a barbecue where they were all drinking and I wasn't and even though I didn't, I wasn't bothered about not drinking, it was seeing the effects of alcohol on other people that wasn't nice when you're stone cold sober and you wouldn't have noticed that so much if you weren't, if that makes sense. But I continue, I'm just, like my sister said, it takes three months to break a habit. And it is, that's what it is, it's just a habit. So I have done a month so far and I will continue um, and see how I go but yeah I'm I'm fine 
I think I've lost a little bit of weight. I can probably tell a little bit in my face, but not loads of weight yet. Um, because, fun fact for you, <laughs> if you didn't know this, but when you have fibromyalgia, your metabolism slows by 20%. Now that's a lot. And that's why a lot of people with fibromyalgia are finding it hard to lose weight. Because the medication, um, a lot of medication that you take with fibromyalgia makes you hungrier. So you eat more, therefore you gain the weight and then you can't lose it because your metabolism has dropped. It's, you're doing less activity. It's a vicious circle. Um, and yeah, it wouldn't have helped with what I ate at the weekend either. <laughs> I'm glad I had a comment um, on one of my my videos where we went to the beach with Poppy and my mum and dad and we were eating chips and someone commented and said, you shouldn't be eating those chips when you're so obese. And I was like, thanks, let me just go ahead and block you. <laughs> and I was like, saying to Mark at the weekend, I shouldn't be eating these because I'm so obese. <laughs> but to be fair, we we didn't eat that much Saturday. We I showed you what we had, which I had that huge cone of chips. I had about a quarter of that. I should have, Mark got us both regular. I should have just had a small because I just can't eat like I used to eat. And so I had about a quarter of them. I had that apple Danish, which then repeated on me for the rest of the evening. Delightful. Joys of dyspepsia. And <laughs> I think, oh, and then right at the end of the evening, we got some like starter bits to share after the show because it was like quarter to 10 and we hadn't eaten anything since that apple Danish. So we decided to um, have a few bits to share, but it was like some nachos and some halloumi and stuff. There wasn't loads. It's just, and I wanted Mark to eat more of it anyway because he was the one that was hungry. I just picked on a couple of bits. So I didn't eat loads, but anyway, what I'm trying to say, I'm rambling, is <laughs> it's hard to lose weight when you've got fibromyalgia. So not drinking, I will probably lose a little bit of weight, but it will take a long, long time, is what I'm saying. But it's all going well. So everything's good so far. And like I say, it's having alternative drinks that you can reach out and have. And my mum found a really nice 0% um, Sauvignon from Asda. It smells disgusting. I smelt it and I was like, oh my God, that smells gross. But it actually tastes quite nice. And I mixed that with soda water. And that was quite refreshing. Me and Mark had that yesterday. So, and Mark's not really been drinking either. He didn't drink the whole weekend. And I said to him, I don't want you to stop just because of me. But he said he wants to not, he won't stop altogether, but he wants to stop drinking at home like, like as much as he was with me. So I said, that's fine. So he didn't drink at the weekend either. And he said he's really feeling the benefits of it all. And like his energy is increasing and stuff, which is great for him. But that won't happen to me because I have fibro and ME. So my energy is like, anyway. Right. I think I've cooled down enough now to try and put some makeup on. And um, yeah, just going to be a nice, relaxing day. A little longer than a few minutes later. What a lunch that Holly's just cooked up. Salmon and salad. We've got watermelon and these from M&S. Sea salt vinegar pop chips. Yummy. To what? <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? My hair being down is going to last all of two seconds today because it's already 28 degrees at 20 past 10 in the morning so it's just gonna get hotter and I'm gonna get more sweaty <laughs> so today I've got another home day I really did relax yesterday afternoon I just I fell asleep in the chair outside and then I just read my book didn't really do much else I potted around the garden for a bit 
as it got cooler in the afternoon and Mark came home and cut the grass, bless him. He'd been at work in the heat all day and then he just came home and said, I think I'm gonna cut the grass. I said, all right then. I was pleased because it needed doing, but I wouldn't ask him after being at work all day. But there we go, so that's what we did yesterday and like today is just another sort of fairly slow day. I've got a phone call in about half an hour from the lady that I'm talking to about drinking. Then I've got a list of jobs to complete, literally little things like clean the door treads and the windowsills outside because they're filthy. Um, I've got to write the shopping list for this week and put the um i've done the animals get the vlog ready for tomorrow and that's going to be the last wednesday so the wednesday you've just had that's going to be a last wednesday upload for all of august anyway i'll let you know when i come back with them but i will come back with them soon because i want to do autumn shops um so like home sense home bargains b and m I want to do autumn and Halloween shops, so I will definitely come back with some Wednesday uploads at some point. So I've got to get that ready. And what's the other thing? Oh, I wanted to show you, actually. Sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> I am sweating. Why did I put makeup on? I have no idea. Well, actually I do, because my makeup has sun factor in it, SPF, so that's why. Right, when I was away with Mark at the weekend, I bought a little project to do that I'm going to do today as well. Ow, just scrape myself on the door handle. And it's this. Look at this beauty. This cost me from a charity shop £3. £3, right? And my plan is to paint it. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use, because I want to do like nice bright colours, because it's for the garden. If it was for indoors, it would be obviously like grey or something, but... For outside, I'm going to do nice bright colours and then I'm going to upcycle it garden style. So what my vision was, was I thought if I could like varnish the inside of this drawer and put some holes in, I could put some little, two little pots sitting in there and then, hmm, I don't know because look, it's just, can you see it just hangs down if it falls? It would have to be like that and then the pots would be minute. Unless I glued it, that's an idea. I could... Alexa, off. Didn't even talk to you. Thank you. Um, I could glue it, which might... Put it, then it'll just get unstuck with the weight of the plants. That's going to have to be a thought thing. But for now, I'm just going to paint it and then see what I want to do with it because but I thought I couldn't leave it for three pounds I thought that's going to be a great little upcycle so yeah I'm going to use my acrylic bright colours paints and then I'm going to varnish clear varnish over the top so that I know they will stay in place and I was going to change the door the handles but you can't because they're like a glue on I mean you could glue new ones on but I'll probably just keep them to be honest Right, I'm all set up and I've chosen blue, red and yellow to make it nice and bright. Oh, I wanted to show you as well my bird bath. If you put pebbles in it, then the bees can have a drink. So many bees have been having a drink today and yesterday. So it's a good idea to do that and then they can land on the pebbles and have a drink. Right, I've done two coats of everything but the red is drying really patchy so that's going to need a lot more coats I think um, but it's okay because that's the sort of weathered look that I'm going for and then I'm going to probably draw on with like sharpie or something some patterns in black because I'm going for like the right this is my thinking the old um gypsy like longbow think Rosie and Jim that sort of thing um, with all the black pretty markings and things like that so that's the sort of look I'm going for which is why I've done the gold around the edging as well but that's taken quite a few coats but 
yeah I'm not sure like I say I'm, what I'm going to do with the inside of each if you've got any suggestions comment down below what you think I can do because this is going in the garden obviously so let me know if you've got any any suggestions right okay so it has been painted and decorated and varnished but the varnish took a lot of the red paint off not the blue not the yellow just the red look at that but I don't mind because I wanted like a distressed look anyway so that's fine um, but I'm glad the blue and yellow stayed intact <laughs> so there we go it's all drying now but yeah if you've got any suggestions of what I can put in it um, I've got I was thinking about putting some of my little figures in the garden on top um, maybe putting some faux plants in the drawer because then it wouldn't matter if it was like you opened it a little bit and put some cascading faux plants down might look quite nice um, but I don't know about inside the cupboard what I could do in there maybe a little animal scene or something when you open the door yeah let me know oh my god the sweat's just running off my face um good morning happy towel wash wednesday literally dripping so i cannot put makeup on yet my hair's still wet from washing it i did a mini workout this morning which is why let's put you down um which is another reason why i'm so hot i do have a cold shower after but just too hard to cool down when it's so hot outside it's already really hot and it's only what is it 20 to 11 towels are on towel wash wednesday towels are always on <laughs> yesterday as well because of the heat my fibro played up so much like i've been saying it has with the weather and it's again it's this hand and this finger was just literally where how it spasms is it like moves involuntary like this on its own and like I say after a while it gets sore but it started to happen to the other fingers as well I did put my what's the post I put my finger support on and it did help it does feel tight but I do think it helps and plan today is to cool down first and then I'm going to later on this afternoon do my hour shift at the castle um, it's going to be busy because it's summer holidays so they've said instead of standing in the front of the entrance waiting for people to stand before the shop so I'm going to have to ask them about that plus we've got a new survey to do this time which I'm not you know bummed about because the old survey was very controversial with people <laughs> the questions that they asked a lot on like your sexual preferences and things and a lot of the people that I was asking were elderly and didn't want to know so glad that the survey has changed but hopefully I'll be able to do that my back is absolutely killing when I woke up this morning I think I slept on my back because my hips have been so painful at night I said to Mark I'm not keeping you awake at night am I screaming out in pain because literally i'll sleep on my side and then after say i don't know 10 minutes 20 minutes i will wake up screaming in agony and have to try and move and the, even the moving is painful so i think last night psychologically i was thinking right don't sleep on your side because you keep waking up in pain so i slept on my back and that wasn't very good for my back <laughs> and when i say back i mean you can't see but it's it's like this lower part here so it is connected with my hips still oh it's a lovely breeze come on breeze blow on me <laughs> um yeah so it's all a bit rubbish at the moment but we we move we carry on <laughs> as they say it's poppy's birthday this weekend poppy comes back tonight from holiday she gets back early evening she said on the train so i'm gonna go and pick her up luckily she's coming back with a like traveling with a friend so she's not on her own because i do worry about her on like public transport on her own it's quite tricky and she gets very 
um, stressed out with noises and sounds and people and so yeah I worry about her but she is traveling back with a friend so that's good so I'll pick her up later or Mark will probably and that's about it for today I haven't really got like I say I've planned for this week to be very very slow last minute I did the castle because I thought I'm not feeling too bad I know my fibro and my hips and back but I'll do the castle because I haven't been for about a month to do my shift at the castle. And don't get me wrong, they don't care. Like, they've got so many volunteers. Um, you just put in as and when you can manage it. And I keep her updated as well. And I say, oh, look, my daughter's coming from university. I'm not going to be able to do as much. Or my fibre has been bad. I can't. You know, I do keep her updated. So it's not as if they're, they're absolutely fine with it. They just say as and when you can do it. Um, I'm going to get on. I'm actually going to sort out my top makeup drawer in the bathroom as well because that is a mess. And there's eyeshadow palettes in there that I don't use anymore that I need to get rid of. I need to cool down, put some makeup on because I can't go to the castle looking like this. That's a joke. <laughs> and um, I'll catch you all later. Later that day. Right, it is much later and I am back from my castle shift. I've got a nice cold can of Fanta that is calling my name <laughs> I'm going to put that in where is my other one of this oh it's right at the back that's why I can't get it because I'm too short in my cup but I did my castle shift it was a bit of a nightmare <laughs> I was the guinea pig for the new survey and it kept crashing and things kept going wrong so I managed to get two, but not many people wanted to do a survey. Who wants to do a survey? It's 28 degrees. You know, I would have said no. I was like, that's fair enough. You know? Anyway, I got two, so that's good. Better than nothing in an hour. That's not bad going. But the shop that's near the castle, I managed to get some bits that I needed. So, oh, and I've had to put my wrist support on because my hand is just not good today. Um, some bath salts that Holly loves for her bath and I went with the Zooflora toilet clings again um, these are in Midnight Blooms which is one of my favourite scents with Zooflora my dad doesn't like this scent but I do and I can smell them from in here so uh, well out here they're really really nice so I'm going to put one of them in our toilet because it needs a new one then I got a new dehumidifier for Holly's wardrobe because it's run out and needs another one. This is the washing up liquid bottle I like. It's the new design, the non-drip design. And you cannot get this in like Audi because they just sell the old design and I prefer the new non-drip one. So I had to get that. Then the last thing I got was this for Poppy which is like a little foot pedicure thing. This was a pound. I thought it was really good. Oh, I've chosen a broken one. Oh, how typical. Look, can you see it? It's cracked. Oh, hope that stays in when she undoes it all. I'm not taking it back, so <laughs> not for a pound. <laughs> but it's got the, the file thing on here, and then you can smooth your heel because she's got she says she's got cracked heels, so got that for hot poppy and that was it and I really wanted an ice cream but I was too hot to stand in a queue and wait for an ice cream so I just came home and now I really want an ice cream and I haven't got an ice cream and I'm sweating again <laughs> I'm going to sit down now with my cold drink of Fanta and I'm going to watch some more When Calls the Heart because I flipping love that program it's a real feel-good program and I don't want to sit in the sun, I want to sit in the shade, indoors, where it's cool, with my cool drink and watch When Calls the Heart. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, it's all very dark. Ready? I'm going to put a big light on. Um. <laughs> you can't see Poppy otherwise. Poppy's home. And you had a nice time, didn't you? Yeah. That's that. She's been go-karting, swimming. Look at the tan. Look like you've been abroad for a week. <laughs> Mark's just called me an idiot for putting the big light on. That's annoyed. <laughs> oh. 
Dad's annoyed, but you're going to get an early night, aren't you? Oh, I'm knackered. Exhausted. What a day. What a day. I've also finished my book. Yes. Bobby's going to have some book recommendations for you. We're going to do a favourites video soon, aren't we? And that'll be on a Wednesday upload in September because I'm not having any Wednesday uploads in August. So we will film it for September. Oh. But yeah, glad to have you back. It's my birthday week. It's your birthday week. Whoop, whoop. Good morning. Happy Weird Thursday. Uh, this week for me is going so slow. I don't know about you but I feel like it's dragging its heels. <laughs> but I think that's because I've been at home a lot this week and I'm not used to being at home so much, which is fine because I've been catching up on when calls the heart and sitting in the sun and enjoying relaxing, which is what I needed to do after our busy weekend. But I'm just busy editing now. Here is my, hang on, there you go. Here is my editing laptop all set and going. Poppy's in the shower. She's just cooking herself some breakfast. The plan is today we are meeting my mum and dad at the cinema and we're going to watch Despicable Me 4. So that'll be really good. I'm looking forward to that. But before we go in, um, we're going to go and have a quick look in TK Maxx because it's code orange. There's Halloween stuff in and you know, I need to see it all. But I might film a thing for TikTok, I'll see. But I won't be filming on here because I realise this is going to be the longest vlog ever <laughs> because of the weekend. And I know a lot of you, that's fine because you absolutely love long vlogs, as do I. So I'm pleased if it makes you happy. If it hasn't, apologies. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to love and leave you for this week. So put in the comments the word holiday because it's been holidays all round here and make sure you hit that thumbs up because that's really important for my channel follow me on all my social media facebook tiktok and instagram because i post regularly on there and you can catch up with me and i will see you all on saturday because there's no wednesday uploads remember in september not september in august i don't know where i am Oh, and also before we go, today marks my one month anniversary of not drinking alcohol. So one month today I have been completely alcohol free. So go me, I'm patting myself on the back. Because it's not been easy, but I've done it and I'll continue to do it. <laughs> Alright, take care and I'll see you all next week. Bye!